in the city which is you know parched has less water if you bring in species which are of moister climates you need to give them more water and they will release more water and that cycle you know it impacts your withdrawal of water whereas in an arid landscape or a semi arid landscape plant is working towards you know the mechanism of conserving water that how little it can take how whatever it has taken conserve it so the leaves will be of certain kind they become thick succulent or they are hairy or they have thorns or their stems are green so planting right means that you need to plant the native species that have evolved to these semi arid arid conditions over millions of years so they are adapted very well to this kind of a condition when you plant native species then you plant in various tiers so a tree understory tree then shrubs then climbers then grasses you know then ground covers you have to think about all of that my understanding is that cities should plant native trees we have to create in the city corridors of wild uh, spaces there are entomologists who have studied that how native species are habitats for little bugs and insects and food for birds if i put it like that you know the studies show that a native species may have from 100 to 200 species of different kinds of insects and worms and bugs in it whereas an in exotic species one of the studies that i am quoting is about 8 to 10 species i'll give you an example there are many many migrant birds that come from central asia many a times they fly really long days to come to a habitat and in that habitat if you do only have exotic species which is devoid of all the native um, uh, smaller insects bugs and all they are going to perish because there is no food available there and that's what landscaping has done to our cities so that relationship we have to understand city is not an island it is built on ecology built on biodiversity and that we have to respect so therefore it is important in the communities that we live we should plant more native trees if you create habitat everything else fall in place you'll have get birds you'll get jugnus you'll get you know frogs toads and what not you'll get everything around it yeah and i think human connect is with the wilderness is very important we cannot live in isolation so we'll have to have that connect with the wild i think condos and communities if they plant native species of the right ecology then what they are doing is they are reducing the water that is going to be extracted or mined i would say so therefore planting right is very important i mean it's not it should be a law that you should plant native because they are more resilient they will thrive and they will not need that much of water maybe it should be also made compulsory that every condo should have 30% green spaces and not just green as lip service green as wilderness green as um, biodiversity rich spaces maybe that should be the norm